right, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, hanging out in the Roxy booth with Olympic gold and bronze medalist in the Super Pipe, Tora Bright. I mean, what? I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting to hang out with you for so long. You know, it's like one of those things where you know we've got something in common. You know, I get, know. Uh, well, was, we, I don't think we've met. We've maybe been in yeah. the same, you know, I don't think locations. We have. But as soon as I saw you, heard your voice, I was like, bring it in, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a legend. And oh, she's like, no. this, is, this is pretty awesome. No, you are. You are. It's, uh, it's always amazing to uh, to get to talk to someone after like following their career for yeah. a long time. And um, one thing I just, from a professional standpoint, I really appreciate is, you know, that you did all three disciplines in the Olympics. The only yeah. snowboarder, I think, to do that, right? Yeah. Still to this point, you competed in Super Pipe, obviously your best event, um, yep. you know, a gold medal in, uh, in uh, Vancouver and then a bronze in what? Uh, Sochi. Silver in Sochi. Silver in Sochi, sorry. Yeah, it's okay, I'm missing the bronze, so I'll take it. Okay, you know? okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, and then, but you also competed in uh, slope style. Yeah. At both Olympics or uh, just no, in? Uh, Sochi was the first time slope style was part of the Olympics. Oh, uh, that's correct. So, yeah, that's right. And then the border cross. And then I was going to get yeah. to that border cross, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> to give you some idea of the concept of competing in border cross at the Olympics, it's like suicide. It's like, <laughs> it's like okay, I'm going to train for this, and then I'm going to go try to get, get hurt over here at the same time. I mean, it's really dangerous what? and uh, dangerous, sketchy. Dangerous, but it's also like, you know, half pipe and slope style, it's freestyle, right? You run your own race. It's like, but then like the border cross, I had to use different boards. Like oh. I turned up to my first World Cup in my half pipe board and they were laughing at me like, guys, I get it. I've got a year to do this. I just need to get my like my board in the game and figure it out. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's all like race. So it was like exact opposite. You don't want air because the more time you spend in the air, the slower you are. Right. So it was like learning different techniques and applying them and eating jumps in different ways and I'm still <laughs> grabbing Indy, you know, over the jumps to stay yeah. tight and low yeah. and yeah. it was pretty funny but it was like the border cross journey was, I don't know, like going back to Van, uh, to Sochi, I didn't want to go back and try and best my best, like it's, I just need to make it fun, I needed a different journey oh, interesting. and for some reason the border cross adding that in was, was the thing that did it and it was exhilarating, it was awesome. That's, but that's I'm, so I'm cool. not, I'm not really like cutthroat killer, you know, competitor. Right. So I'm just kind of like, eh, yeah. I either like pass her, take her out, or I just take myself out and save the race, you know. Yeah, she's not really a <laughs> yeah. cutthroat competitor. Uh, she's sort of not very competitive at all. Just uh, when she yeah. gets in the pipe, in uh, what was it? Uh, when you won, you fell on your first run or something, right? Yeah, um, yeah, I tend to do that. Tend, a bit. right, yeah. and then you <laughs> came back and like, I mean. To say you're not a cutthroat competitor, I get it. <laughs> you're not vicious, but something tells me you've always been pretty, uh, pretty good when you've stepped in the gate competing, right? Like yeah. when the time comes, you have a knack for. I've been. Have you discovered that be... now that you have some perspective on your on your life? Obviously, you have yeah. talent and skill, and you know God-given gifts, you, which you applied hard work to. But did you ever think to yourself, "Damn, I'm pretty good at competing as well"? Well, I started competing and skiing when I was young. It was just oh, you what did? we did, yeah. I was oh, a yeah? skier first. Dang, like a racer? <laughs> do you ever do any racer, bumps? Racer, man. Yeah. And bumps. Yeah. Oh, right did on. a little bit of bumps. Oh, cool, cool. But yeah, competing was what I did in every sort of sport. So I guess like from a young age, I just, I had a cool mindset. It was fun. I just, I that's what I did. Yeah. And so going through my career and it's like, you know, things got a little heightened and more on the line. Um, I was able to stay pretty calm, cool, and collected, and yeah. you know, keep it fun and light, and right. let the muscle memory take over while I competed. But I did screw up a lot the first run before I actually got to that point. So. Sure, absolutely, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, still on the snowboard tip, I know you just, uh, you know, you just finished up a massive tour. I, when I live in Tahoe, so I kept hearing you were out there riding backcountry yeah. with Jeremy Jones. You did. It's like a 3D movie, basically. Yeah, so it's on the giant screen, the IMAX. Oh, IMAX, um, 3D. IMAX. But they do, they make 3D, uh -huh. they do it in dome-like vision as uh -huh. well, so it comes yeah. in a few different formats. But that, that project was awesome. It had like snowboarding and skiing was the storyteller and the journey, yeah. you know, maker. But um, 
it had purpose to it. Right, you know? it was a it was, journey about you know climate change. And you wanted yeah, to tell me a little just about that. Inspiring people through you know the journey being outdoors, reconnecting. We you know went to Antarctica and then traveled all the way up to um, the Arctic Refuge, and where we met and chatted with um, a local like an Inupia elder. Yeah. You know, so we had everything from science to you know fun science too it's gotta you gotta entertain like eight-year-olds you right. know so it's like right. how's a snowflake form but it was all like worked in very beautiful and um, beautifully and great scenery good story i got to ride with jeremy Jones, i know Sam i've, I've seen the footage yeah did they ever like, did they ever scare you out there i mean it's it's you know you're a great snowboarder but I, you hadn't spent much time in the back country i know for me it was always a little bit yeah. the first time i went out out of bounds with jeremy jones like in alaska i was like what we're gonna ski that well, you know that was the thing like right. alaska i'd been there i'd been shut down so like filming it was the first time i really rode alaska uh -huh. and i built it up so much in my head that it was alaska you know and the first line i dropped into like it was nothing major you know it was a blind rollover but right. like I totally just rolled over, going a little too fast. By the time I realized that was the line I was meant to take, I was cutting into Jeremy's line. <laughs> right and I got to the bottom and I'm like, uh, Jeremy, I just pretty sure I rode your line <laughs> and radioed up to him. I didn't hear anything back and I'm like, hey, Jeremy, I'm just uh, making sure you heard that I rode your line. He's like, yeah, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my first line in Alaska. And oh, I just yeah. was like in my head, you know, yeah. and I'm like, after that it was it was all good i got i got it out yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was very gracious and with his time and knowledge and um you know sharing all yeah. his life expertise in the mountains yeah so yeah he's an amazing really guy. special um and so now you're sort of moving into your next phase of life yeah. i mean you're actually here at or which typically is not reserved for a competitive athlete right this is the <laughs> domain of the retired uh, athlete which you you did somewhat recently and then in quick order you're about to have a baby you're yeah. getting close and yeah. uh, congratulations thank you it's very exciting uh -huh. I um yeah once I like stopped competing I wanted to like still be you know out filming and doing things so I had some fun projects and um, and then I don't know it just kind of felt right to make a baby <laughs> so, Make a baby, a baby. Now. right? Right. Growing a little baby, little yeah. mini shredder on the way. Oh uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't wait for it. And you were you were telling me uh, you were a little like uh, nervous about it in some ways, <laughs> which I think for a lot of people, uh, you, you being sort of a fearless athlete is is probably hard to understand. But you you probably are. Uh, I mean, what what are you, what are your emotions about you know your body changing and everything like that? Oh my gosh, I've just like learned to surrender to whatever is coming. <laughs> yeah. I'm reading a lot. I feel like I'm like preparing for like the biggest game day of my life to bring this like baby into the world. <laughs> right. right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just like uh, it's an interesting process, but it's beautiful. You know, everything is changing. Your body's changing. Um, you know, but. but yeah. Just surrendering to the beautiful thing that it is. So, yeah. you know. You're going to be a cool mama. You, you get them into snowboarding or skiing or what, what's your plan? Well, I always say put them skiing first. That's what I thought. <laughs> I mean, you know, get them on skis. You know, as long as they enjoy the outdoors and the mountains, however they want to enjoy it is good for me. But, okay, cool, cool. But they should, you know, maybe snowboard on a powder day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, snowboards are still superior in the PAL. I mean, oh, thank God for snowboarding. It's You've coming made, from your mouth. I, it is. I mean, we we have <laughs> we have made huge improvements in skiing. You know, with rocker and, yeah, and we borrowed yeah. width and side cut, and so it's getting closer. But there's still nothing better than like an open bowl on a snowboard, yeah, right? Oh, but it's the best. Do but then you, you got to walk out. It's true. So, it's true. You know, or the trail. <laughs> but, it's true. Yeah, I but. did get my first powder day on skis oh, really? last year. I went Tour to Bright, Deer Valley. Skis. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. It oh, was, really? It was exciting. It was oh, fun. Good. It, was, it was strange. Oh, cool. Like, I'm like. Oh, I'm right. You're not even allowed to ski. It. You're not even allowed to snowboard no, at Deer Valley. That's I've never been, so I'm like. Let's go. Oh, we Let's need some video explore. of that. Can you send us some vid? Did you get any vid? Oh, yeah. I we was have to wearing put some vid. my freaking tight little retro ski and oh, spider are you? pants. Oh, cool. Coat. It looked like the full skier, you know? My race pants. Yeah. I can tell you, you you are a skier. All right. Speaking of retro inspired clothes, let's talk clothes a little bit. Okay. We're in the Roxy booth. 
I mean, I can never remember a time you weren't on Roxy. I mean, it's how long yeah. has it been now? I I think it's coming up 20 years. 20, 20 years. 20 years, yeah. That's a lot. So you were like a teenager, basically. I was a teenager. I was yeah. 13, 13 when I, I was... like first started with Roxy. That's incredible. So, That's incredible. And yeah. I know that you don't just ride for them. You've been involved in so many different... I mean, every time I go in a shop, I see a tag hanging, tour of right <laughs> yeah. collection. You've been involved in a lot of their uh, yeah. design work. Um, has that something you'll continue to do and yeah. you enjoy? Yeah, I, I love it because they really do want the riders feedback. It's so important to them. So every year we'll we'll meet with the designers and have like full R&D, you know, this didn't work, that that works, blah, 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 blah. And it's like designed by women, for women. It's tested by us. We're in the mountains being radical. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome to be a part of the process. And uh, it's a creative outlet too. Like I love putting the storyboards together and the inspiration. And yeah. um, sometimes I think I'm absolutely nuts because I'm like, no, nope, make them higher and skinnier and tighter oh, and yeah. like stretchier. Oh, and good, good. <laughs> but it works out. Yeah, you know, you've always so. had cool style. I, I love your style on a snowboard, but I've always noticed your clothing. Like I love your, I love your sweater and all that stuff. So. Um, Let's wrap that up for now. Okay. This is for Johnny Mosley and Tora Bright for Peter Gunski and Sports. Uh, if you click over uh, and just look at the reviews, we're going to talk about some of the actual Roxy clothing if you're interested in some of the stuff that Tora's helped design over the years. But until then, you'll see Tora and I on the slopes <laughs> skiing. I'll, 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 I will, let's go snowboarding. And okay. then we'll go some mobile skiing as well. Okay, I might have to send you my little 360 clip. Oh, oh I yeah. mean, that's, I gotta see that. Uh, it's like, a, don't I get Olympic gold medal courtesy? Like, you have to snowboard with me if I want to, and then. I, yeah, yeah, well, that you, works. You don't have to, I, you don't have to want me to want, ski with Johnny, you, but. Whatever you I, want. I think I deserve that. I think <laughs> it's something in like the Olympic charter. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. If, if a gold, one gold medalist calls another gold medalist, they have to, you know, I will ski, ski with, with you any day. That's what I'm talking any about. It's on camera. It's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Johnny Mosley for Peter Gunn Ski and Sports. See ya.